Hello, it is me, Sleepy Harry Ann. Isn't it cute? Look at how cute. We got a bear. We got a raccoon, I think, either eating a baguette or filleting a bear under a table. It's very cute. Oh. And look, it's built in good dough. So great to see more games built in good dough. Because the tea pubs is good, indeed. Actually, I do have uh, while this while this is loading. Um, I do have two enormous pieces of A3 art that we have. So one of them was for our friend Mamai, who is uh, French. Oh my God, cute! There to be a mermaids kissing. I think that's so cute and beautiful. Mm. Mamai does some amazing stuff. But on the back of it, I did. I did get one of CB's prints, and I I got it intending to give it to Cammy for Christmas, but I think I'm going to have to get another one from Cammy for Cammy for Christmas because I want it because it's so beautiful. Look at this man! Look at this person with the roses and the petals and uh, the leg. Oh my God! It's Musha. It's beautiful. Oh. That is gonna go. That is gonna go in the background here, surrounded by all these other flowers I have. I wanna, I wanna re redo stuff in here at some point soon. Huh. Let's go back to the Arcadian skies. Nope. That's just what this la layer is named. So we're looking at a, be a, a bear. We're looking at a bear. Today we are looking at a game called Bear and Breakfast. Look. Look, it's a sleepy bear in a kitchen. With a boiling pot. And a tooting chimney. Oh, it's so cute. Very excited. I've not played this game. I got it uh, on a mild reduction. And yeah, I've been wanting to play it for a bit. Bear flipping a burger. Or some kind of thing. It'd be and be, but you're a bear. Exactly! The entire premise! Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Okay, is this gonna be a keyboard game or a controller game? Well, the controller isn't responding, so keyboard. Mom's gonna kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. He touched his, fore his forehead, felt, felt heavy, with a crushing pressure. Bear. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced through the air. There was no one there. Everything fell dark, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Spooky. Oh, the bear! Hello. I can't move. Oh no, sleep paralysis? Do not. Don't what? See? Because it's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. <laughs> Another fuck not his bear. <laughs> Waz, to move around. Don't start shit with us this early. Oh, there we go. Well, that's convenient. Find. You mean like an introspection thing? Bed. I mean, I do like bed. Sleep. 
Yeah, sure, I'll take a nap in the deathbed. E to interact. What, with the deathbed? Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. Wake. Bed! Well, that was creepy. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. For the third time, Hank! Oh. Better see what's up. I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear! I'm a bear, I'm a bear. I'm a covered in fluff, I'm moving my legs. Bear, 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 bear. Bear, 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 bear. Bear, 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 bear. bear. Let me guess, this rug is too soft, Mama Bear. I'm up! I'm up! Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. I can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides, says what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in her room with Will, probably. I should go wake him up. Alright, honey. Tutorial. While in adventure mode, walk around with Wazd. Zoom the camera in and out with... Oh, Jesus Christ! That doesn't work thinking less, damn right it doesn't. You can zoom the camera up and... Out with the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down. But I want this tutorial's happening, then it's to move to the next thing. Interact with E. Game uses autosave. Oh, and there's the options menu. Oh, it's a little bug! Good. Get out. Morning. Out. That's not a very good morning of you. There's nothing good about being up this early. Oh, the little voice. I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I can smell them a mile away. Oh, delightful, both of you. Was it the ducky today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes. <laughs> the bird's not wrong. Uh, actually, Mom says she might let us uh, cross the creek today, checking the bushes for mushrooms. What did I tell you? I live for the hunt. How can we never do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. Oh, uh, we're not allowed to pass the fence anymore. Not since the incident. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now! It's morning. Wake up. Let's go do stuff! They won me. Betrayal never comes from your enemies. Being a burb, that went, that went back to wrong quickly. Hank! Adoptive children! Over here! Get your digging claws ready. Here it comes. Coming! Walk around, interact with things, and pick them up for your inventory. What's this? Oh, it's some denim. What's this? It's a basket for washing things. What's this? It's a tree trunk. Okay. I have 
up and sniff out something good today. The reason all the jokes about Mondays are so terrible is because people only think them up on a Monday. That's Monday in game. Hey, Ma! Morning, kids! Morning, Mrs. M. Ma'am. Oh, did you sleep all right? As good as ever. <laughs> Love this character design. Oh, good enough. Whatever that means. Oh good! Today is a very special day. I need you to go to ON THE HUNT! Alright, find me to the hole. To Black Moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good, and I need your help. We have a body to dispose of. <coughs> the bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick. And the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave the stick in place. Hmm. I mean, uh, ad adventure! Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. Notebook. But don't lose it again! I oh. will. He will. He will. Alright, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back! One step... Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma! Notebook. Collectibles unlock things. Find your current unlocked collectibles on the character screen. Access your quest lock. Can't do straight anything, Mom. Quests will be flagged if they're plot. Ooh, quest stat quest quest status as will appear over people. Okay, cool. I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear. I don't have any clothes. Bear, 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 Make sure you don't leave on an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little makes you dumb. I mean, I have... Yeah. Low food brain is a bad brain. Is brain of dumb dumb. Dumb dumb stupid stuff. I don't know where I am, but I know I'm a bear. Do 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 do. These are the weeds. Oh, it wants me to go that way. Okay. But what about this way? Bear, 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 bear. God, Hank's design is so cute. Ooh, the grave. Can't remember what it says. I'm a bear. I don't read. I can't read. I'm a bear. To Black Moss. Wait a minute. You can read now? The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before. Just a bird jump. Past the shooting, the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. He has a hat. Marvin wouldn't but know, but this was not exactly their first adventure. Annie, the Carnelian, Carnelian dog. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly... Even more so on the inside. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious. Maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. No, Mom, I'm definitely not going to wander too far in adventurous fashion. I promise. Hey, 
All right, gang. Spread. Spread up! It's dark here. You struck me as a real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of a guy. What, is, what does that even mean? Tire screech noises! What in the what? I heard it too. Oh, we better go. We haven't had anything for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That is not what I said. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No! Come back! And now I'm going to explore this side of the area. There's probably not much because it wants me to get on with the main plot line. I don't have a bear in breakfast yet. So far, I only have a bear. Curse you, ankle deep water! Keeping me away. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Day two? I haven't done shit. What do you want about? Or do you start on day two because he's so lazy or sleepy? There's one big rock. Is it? Where? Oh, I thought this whole thing was a tree. Fair enough, it's a rock. Oh, is that the is that the weed? Hello, can I have a, the weed? I would like to partake of the weed, please. God damn it. I'm not going to be able to get that weed, am I? Timber crossing. Well, balls. Let me hug my emotional support hottie. A shark! To A24. The movie studio? Oh! Oh, oh it's an... <laughs> oh, it is an outhouse. Slash shed. Oh. I don't want to... I don't want to take all these things. I don't know what I'm doing here yet. Am I going to run a and b surreptitiously behind my mom's back? Porn voyage! Itchy fur means more friends to hang out with. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hang on. Oh no! I knocked several things over. This place is a mess and it's entirely my own fault. These very sexual postcards to one side. We have shark. Have I ever had a potato crisp sandwich? Yes. That's what I got for breakfast. Jalapeno on rye with provolone. Ooh, cool. The strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. Little grey speaker box was strapped to its neck, blurting out nonsense. It reminded Hank of Will's TV. 
Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Uh, someone in there? You there, fine. Uh, gentleman in the orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you? Like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver. Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Yes, very minor. Very, very minor. How exactly are you talking? Pawn Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your-friend corporation. Oh no. Twitch, this new BS background frame ad thing is bad. Fuck you, capitalism. Oh, damn. This sounds like an MLM. Don't go into it, Hank! What the... Offering secured touristy adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral! Ah, it's Uber, but for B&Bs, I'm guessing. You, you, you lost me. Ah, uh, don't ever think you had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry, or expensive hidden heirloom of your choice, and we'll give you... What a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime! Uh, sorry buddy, but I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Pawn Voyage is also one that look out for brand new adventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For it's millions of customers all round the valley. We will take any location or premises, no matter how run down or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans to live here? I don't think anyone's live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The shark is a spam bot. Butcher the spam bot! Replace it with best shark. Human wonder. The human wonder. The humans wonder where Shark Boy tells them. And then they stare at the trees. And try to forget whatever they're running from. The problems. The law. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you. Or a friend would like to offer your. Ha home or house. And become a Pawn Voyage premium premises. By restoring, repairing, reactivating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces. And drastically, barely, alter your monthly income. Simply press the green button under my gullet, and a representative will get in touch. Yeah, we should destroy this. Meet Finn, the Pawn Voyage inflatable shark mascot. Ah, uh, oh, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what he just said. If I heard the shirt right, I'm pretty sure he wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. Uh, all I heard is that humans were coming back? Well, the money has to get there somehow. Humans? I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than en and that's more than enough! Hello? Did you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength? My foolproof understanding of all things. And Spoil Sports cheerful attitude. I am cheerful. And I don't care for him. That's all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. What is a boat? I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human back. Money. Give good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. Stupid burp. 
We'll use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. I know. I can't open this yet. Oh, okay. Oh, a bench. What's missing is a picnic basket. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're over here. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button or walk away. Ooh. You walk away. Right, right, we have to do this to get the game started. Hello. Congratulations! You have been automatically entered into a standard, legally binding agreement! Grab so spam by the shovel throat and shake vigorously. Boo. By using your fingerprint identification from the local police department. Welcome to the family, error unknown pattern. <laughs> Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises is ready to accept your first guess. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Oh, well, I used to look at pictures of houses in the magazines we found. Could the humans maybe just live under a bus? Nah, I don't think I'd cut it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. You're mine. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left, saw left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out. Tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Within the adventure mode menu, you have two additional options. Read book and go sleep. Visibility. If you're not a fan of the dark, after midnight you can sleep until the following morning. This also advances time. Is Tony a beaver? Oh, that would make sense, right? If you'd like to see inside of a, most buildings, you can lower the roof and walls. Ooh. Oh. Cool. Right, so that unlocks fast travel and needs fixing. Oh, and I can just collect materials from around here. That seems to make sense. Collecting all the garbage. Acquired some wood. He doesn't want it there, which is interesting. Sawdust. Any more garbage? Please distract me from my neat. <laughs> Bin that shark then! Fishy bastard bot. The shark bastard bot. The shark bot is a bastard for sure. The shark in my arms is not though. This is my blahage. Take all. It's not actually very messy around here. Oh. Hello. Took. Ah. You hang out with trash, you start to smell like garbage. Rich and appetizing. Okay. Blahaj is good shark. Spambot is not. Six valuables. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Auto save. Got a bunch. 
Got a badge. Can't open this yet. Oh, I see. Pinewood plank, plywood plank. The different planks. <laughs> Raccoons like garbage. Sick two colors, Pamba. White stone bay. Garbage. Oh, a really nice looking place. A computer. Pen on a string. Oliver's desk. Who the fuck's Oliver? Oh, I could sit in bed and play video games all day. They sure don't make them like they used to. How do they make them? Look, bird, I just play them. Okay. He's under there and... <gasps> Oliver's lunchbox. Okay. Gotta have some kind of interaction with him later, I'm guessing. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go to Sawdust. Well, let's go in this building and take all the stuff. Cleaning, 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 cleaning. Pie with planks. Can now be used to build rooms and furniture. Sweet. Don't have access to building those things yet, unfortunately. What's that? Oh, it's a bench. Is this sawdust? Yes. Okay. Let us go! Bus sign, damn it. Big old chunk of tree. Why not, why not simply punch the trees? Oh, it's a garage. Oh, someone called it. It's a beaver. Tony the beaver. By God, a bear. It's just me, sir. Hank from the thicket. Oh, goodness, you can talk? I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? She's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. We've got a... Help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch. Oh, actually, my friends and I were wondering... An oak spoon? Oh, I think Michael would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No. There's this shark in Timber Crossing. Oh! A redwood plaque for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley! Oh. Well. You haven't seen those in a while, have we? What could I possibly have to do with that? Uh, how much do you know about building things? For humans, I mean. Well, as of course you you know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. I felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought I could wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, knotty frames, perfect angles. Clearly an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes! Well, I was hoping you could help us fix the old shack until we're crossing. Oh! How wonderful. We'll need my back saw, a mallet, a ladder, oh! A couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will you? Bright yellow ones. 
They're all yellow. I got it right here. Perfect. You're doing such a great job. All right, so just pick it up off the ground. Amazing. And Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Yeah, I figured I'd already have the stuff if I did that. There's some yellow ones. Poking around his stuff. Ooh, loggers tools. I don't want to steal people's things, but also why else would it be that? This is junk. Old dead washing machine. I don't know for sure, but I feel like this game could have a fishing mini game. So much wood. I'm under a tree. Little mushrooms. What's this? To Dark Grove. I wonder if I can get around to another area, another entrance to that area from the beginning, actually get the weeds Mum wanted. Weird. That tree moved. Cough so much wood. To the thicket. This is me approaching home from a different angle. Oh, logger's tool. Ah! Cleared the path. Interact with materials, loot their contents. Split stack. Scavenging. Store in a stash. Nippon Voyage. Cool. Myself a long nap. I love that you can't call that hibernation every time. Oh, there's Mom doing laundry. Do not have the the, the, the weeds. Should get some weeds. Can't tell Mom I don't smoke weed. Day three, damn, I'm distractible. Wait. Must acquire copious amounts of wood. Back at the crossing. Yes, all of that is wonderful. Hold the ground. And you're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this place will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First you have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. 
I think I can do that. I think I already did that. Yep. Now we'll have to use this old workbench. You can't hammer nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it together while I tidy up the place. I already did that. Run spanking new. Spanking. It's good. Enough. Oh, uh, thanks. Excuse me. Repair the dinky shed. Ah, uh, you have plenty of time to get better. Now humans go over the cold stone floors and itch. <laughs> humans got over the cold stone floors and itchy hay a while ago. They would much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Uh, here, there's none of those things, but it'll do. Pawn Voyage has new items available. You need to craft a shabby pallet bed recipe. Go make one on the workbench. Once repaired, I can move the windows. Cool. Once repaired, the workbench is used to craft objects. Craft furniture. Crafting menu. Functional objects are specific to rooms and uh, crafted from materials. Beds give comfort and belong in bedrooms. Toilets give hygiene and belong in bathrooms, etc. Exit build mode. Learn new blueprints. More blueprints upon Voyage as they become available. <sighs> cool. Simple enough. Level 1. Bedroom object. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, how big do I want the bedroom to be? Door. Beds. Shoot. Okay, so it needs a door. Right, let's actually do the door this time. And beds. Oh, just one. Okay. Oh, did not mean that. Can I remove time? Oh, I can, cool. Cost 120 gold. Oh, valuables. Cool. I'm probably paying for the worksmanship. Prestige, level one. Let me exit. Were you able to make that bed? Yeah. Got it right here. I didn't think it could look... I don't think it didn't think it could look worse than the schematics. But here we are. Oh, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. Well, that's just sad. Hurry along and put it to good use. Make a bedroom, put the bed in it. I did that. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost referred to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. Alright, now this is the most important step, everyone. Humans always need to feed their false sense of superiority by having someone around they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. A little black book to keep records of the shark. Oh! That, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Yes, a front desk and also a book. Do this and then start raking in the dew. Crafting. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't see uh, the desk here. Oh, front desk recipe is down here the side. Yep, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Oh, you're such a fast learner. It's not that great. Look, it took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are you even going to like it? Yeah, you sure know how to take a compliment. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this cute little bean. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell him when we got this joint ready. Do, 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 do. Going to Shark. Oh, I see some rubbish. Oh, that must be uh, atmospheric rubbish. It clearly has a bus sign on it. So I do have to protest. Oh, it's Task Timber Board. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Press the green button. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations! Your premium property is now listed on the network. The time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People. These dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings foraging the world with their magic and machines. Mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure is that it was what Mom always said. Keep your distance. So much for that. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. You can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guest through the front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. What are these? Shabby wooden bed recipe. Simple wardrobe. Wooden footrest. Oh, that sounds cute. But I don't really have much valuable at the moment. The, the resource of money. Oh, let's be on that side. Details. Prestige level one. Oh, it's currently empty, I see. Guest requests. Ah. He wants three comfort and three decoration. Currently, we are at one and basically nothing. A sign. Nathan Harper will arrive tomorrow morning. Tip of crossing. Resort overview will show you all the resorts. Each resort will display its available bedrooms. Guest requests and reviews. Bedrooms you'll be able to be listed at with their current vacancy status and scores. Every morning new guests will request to state your resorts. So you have to accept them and assign them to rooms. Depending on each resort, guests will have demands for their room. Use accept button to accept a guest request. Uh, assign the guest to their bedroom for the stay. Try to match the bedroom scores to the guest demand for better reviews and payments. Repair monuments to get more requests. While you're off on an adventure in another location, your results will still run. Okay, so we can sleep or we can try and make something to make that a bit more comfy. No, no, I... Level 1 object, level 1 object. It doesn't really tell me what it does. Will making this footstool make it a better place? 
Make the world a better place. Craft. Uh. Oh, there's just an add door thing here. How do I... How, how, how do I? I got this recipe. I don't know how to use it. Unlocked new recipe. Oh, so I just have to click the thing. There we go. Unnecessary extra step, but okay. Wooden footrest adds two comfort and duration. That will do it. And this one doesn't cost money. Cancel that. Um, but I do want to put down Okay, now does that make it more to Captain Fancy Pants's liking? Builds a recognition four wants com oh wait, wants comfort seven. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I, mean, I think that's what I can get for now. Speak to the shark. Speak to the shark. Got a human on the way. Congratulations! You're on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you're much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start. And that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with the guest demands as they tend to be pickier and pickier. Sadly, <laughs> an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Oh yes, the human problem. tree falls in the forest doesn't make a sound. Yes it does, and I always recommend lumber support for serious injuries. Sleep tonight and fight the break of dawn come tomorrow. Do we have a Hulman? Guest arrived at a resort. You've got new stay requests. Ah, he's coming. Okay. Doesn't hate it, and he's gone straight to sleep. Wonderful. Leaves in two days. Comfort. 233. Luxurious. Decoration. 133. Charming. Everything in tip-top shape. Fantastic! Oh my god! Oh, he's going somewhere. Hello. Alright, you enjoy whatever the hell it is you're doing. Said I got a request. Uh-oh! Alert! Looks like your premium property is lacking the old in the old P department. Hey, I don't... Prestige! Oh. 
That means the decorations of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. Hey, crumb cake. It is ugly. But it looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, you just make your properties more appealing. By adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. Wait, can I sell some of this? Oh, I appear to scare him because I am a bear. Change the summer vault decorations on across the resort. Resort prestige uh, can be found. <laughs> I did make an emote for this very occasion. Most objects have a decoration score, positive or negative. It's negative? Damn. Where'd the human go? Hide from the human. Oh god, he can see to the window! Get out, get out the room, get out the room. Don't let him look at the bear. All right, so. What else we got? Get the recipe for a better bed. Yes, yes, yes. Bear, <laughs> bear wood. It thing. Place that bed with a slightly better bed. Woo. Minimum size is two by three. Sixty, which is money I don't have. So it probably won't let me do it. Not enough coins, cool. Alright, well, I have improved the bed slightly. Is that enough? How the show go? Oh, how did Thought Bubble go? Thought Bubble was lovely. Thank you for asking. I need to go find some more valuable money stuff. Oh. I can do that. Luxurious facilities for the facilities for the assuming. Definitely an attractive pro Oh, I scared him again. Oh, I see, I see. Monuments, right. Monuments to human stuff. Oh, storage. Ah, what's this place? I've been here before, this is where two cliffs. Don't want a shitty shitter, it's true. Whoa there, big fella. Where'd you come from? Oh, I live here, where'd you come from? Alright, enough of the questions. What are you after? Junk. Trash. Muck. 
Oh, uh, look at this thing humans like. This thing that makes them feel more distinguished. Slop. Scrap. Rebel. The words to live by. Uh, no. I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got just what you need. You've stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. There isn't one thing these other animals throw away that I don't want to flip back to them. Great. Let me have a look at that dumpster. That's the fast bow, Zhao. How do I know I can trust you? Um, my authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't just trade off with anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But! You gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. Tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk. Oh. Oh, I think I got that for you. I think I got that for you, bub. Let's go down to someone I met just the other day. Ollie the bus person. I'm going to steal your pen. Oh, a vending machine. A Christmassy vending machine. Oh. Hello, Ollie the human. Oh. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good looking one? Careful, Ollie. Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I would argue that you'll really. I like your hair! Soft bear noises. Oh, what a kind looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses around here, if that wasn't evident. Look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? Do you take the bus? What's a bus? Skeptical bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid bird? I got this letter I've been dying to send. But I just can't leave my buses. All alone. In the cold. Kenda says, I don't even play Animal Crossing, but my brain just did a AMV of... I did it all for the nookie. <laughs> I'm... I... Yes. There's not been a, any posts since... Years! How do I live here? Oh, now he's smoking a tiny... N tiny nub. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to sawdust? Give this to Beanie for me? Scratched envelope. Oh. She usually hangs around the fire watchtower. Oh. Well, you're not a bad guy. I feel bad for stealing your sandwich. I am going to steal your pen, though. It's the kind of nice human junk that might be decorative. Yo, stinky, stinky duke. My brain to me, you're trapped in here with me. Of all the songs. Yeah, I found you some I found you a sandwich. Stale bread. Crunchy cheese. We called mustard. That's all I could find. Mmm. Just like mom used to make. Alright, you British charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. Here, I think that you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price. And don't mean to and I don't mean none of that human stinking stuff. Took's garbage! I mean, real valuables. Okay, so these have a valuables cost. Oh! Right! Coins, human money. Valuables, garbage money. I see. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tom Nook is the, the reference with, with Nookie. Hit with Took. <laughs> Didn't play the Switch one, but had the GameCube one. I played the Switch one quite a bit. Oh, a welcome mat. Old drawers, mirror, a vase, a lamp. 
These are all very nice. Old drawers. Hey, you still got a quest. How come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, I used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My bloody will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Lamp! Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna stitch on you if you ain't. Snitch on you if you ain't. Besides, I haven't had a lick of new humans here around for a while. Not since the couple that ran... Not since the couple ran after the around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to be never allowed to pass the fence in the thicket. Now we won't walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. Probably make a few folks pissy in the process. Listen here. I'll make him smoke it. I get plenty of demands. My business revolves around supply. Make him more mocker. Thank you, I shall go get some water in a moment. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. And especially slim pickings if you don't get any of the rich looking kind. You dump, they dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing the old shed up for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger racker. It's me, I am the raccoons. <laughs> it's me, I am the raccoons. <laughs> I'm just getting the hang of it. It sounds like a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. Took's dumpster is your one-stop shop for decorative objects. Humans leave behind garbage. Oh, collect garbage from humans and then turn it into... into money. Ah. I like this. I understand this. I get money from humans, but I also get garbage. There's a, there's a garbage now! What an economy. Oh, yeah, let's, uh... No, uh, inventory, inventory. Welcome, Matt. Whoever Matt is, they're welcome here. Small oil light oh, drawers. Oil lantern. Yes, go on the drawers. Vase. Go on that. Pen! No, I need another thing for the pen. Small, putted, plant. Ah, shoot, I need something for it to go on top of. I need another desk or something. Well, how fancy does that make this? N nearly there. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favourite apprentice. Oh, don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Uh-huh. Well, hello. I heard that Polly voice. I'm, when did I make the Polly voice? What are you talking about? Oh, Reginald! Sorry. Look, I have it on very good authority. The kiosk up there is the next best shot of getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do you? What authority is that on, exactly? Um, well... Oh, marvellous. The old travel kiosk was a jewel of timber crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. So, kind of like the pyramids. Now, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular... Parallelipid. Parallelip... Parallelipiped. A parallelipiped. A rectangle of what? So I think we should spruce it up like we do with the shed. And that'll attract more humans and get us even more money. Right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant as idea. As usual, my son. Student! Yes, that's what I said. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of rubble. We'll be next to the building. I think I've already done that. Almost sparkling. Few things a human look for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get it just right. There's a few oddities. I'll need some human literature. 
Uh, I've got a book back home we could use. Also, an old computer sitting under the tower of, in sawdust. Oh, some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might want to have this little bus shack. Treasure hunt! Take your time. Take everything, everything else in the meantime. Man, we have left Mom for a few days now. And we have not found the weeds she wanted. I think I'm allowed to feel a bit bad about that. Maybe in the meantime, something so. Lands of green and skies of blue. All in all, we're just like you. Sorry. Uh, poor mom. Mm. Poor mother. Yes! Drop your random socks and apples, you stinking human. You smelly human, you. Inventory! Is that... is that the amount? TWO BITCHES! Property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. Shame you didn't appreciate my lamp pun. I I said lamp. Was it a pun? Hang on, let me go back. Shady bitch. Ah, lamp. Oh, and you told me to go get water. Yeah, that's that's fair. Green button. It's a little better now, I think. Congratulations! Burr, 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 burr. You've increased your property's value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278% more than the guests receive on our average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results. So keep up the work. God, the MLM of having of this entire thing. Uh, dump all. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Except you. I need that. Girl into the door. To... You now only the crypts of the crystal. Congratulations! Love it. You are presented now with an opportunity! In order to achieve the prestigious pawn voyage ped pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Complete the, st the stay for at least plus one more guest in Timber Crossing. Give Feeny the envelope. And get a book on spelling from the thicket, an old computer from Sawdust and a pen and a string. Okay, we're getting there. Humans asleep. Humans asleep, post ponies. Shark oil. Oh god. Snake oil, love it. Alright, it's gonna put the crab back with the um What? It's the shark back for a moment. As I go pee in order to Ah Refill my water. Okay, not in order to. It's in the same room. It's multitasking. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna hit a, a teeny tiny little land for it. And I'll be right back. Oh. God, my whole body. Oh. The conventions always fuck me up this much.
I have returned! My daughter has a pink dolphin. Oh. It's the most comfortable thing to lay on. Candace says, dolphins create the opportunity for dad joke puns and things be <laughs> about things being on porpoise. Uh, oh. Little rebel, don't listen to your mom. I'm trying to get the weeds. Okay. I don't yet have enough money to get a second bed in there. The envelope I can deliver though. And a book on spelling from the thicket is doable. Let's go to the thicket through sawdust. I'll be able to pick up the computer from there and drop off this uh, envelope. We'll have to see about that. Hey! Go inside this one? No. Helping! <laughs> Good to know the wood respawns. Beanie. Ooh, couch! Hell yeah. Or sofa, as we call it here in the UK. Old computer from Sawdust. It said it, said it was in the basement? Just realising that the wood locations are actually on the mini-map. Very useful. I wonder where a tree this big could fit. Oh, I see a yellow circle on the map. Is that going to be Beanie? Ah! It's like a park ranger. Sabine Beanie. Hello! I don't believe we've met yet. How'd you end up here? With my feetsies. Burbling bear noises. Oh god, there's there's more puns going on in the chat. I'm sure there'll be many opportunities. You're not being shellfish, so you'll share. Wonderful. Good! Physical activity oh, is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? What am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. No, oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm yoking you. What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. That's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the best person. Give me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie's such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let's see. Can't believe you found it. Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. He's a human. Though I understand the resemblance. No, he, he found the last page of our atlas. Made this ages ago. Barely gotten his driver's license and I had a much smaller hat. <laughs> Bigger hats with promotions. We mapped out the whole valley. Figured we were to put so, where to put stations up for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way. But could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I had the rest. Compass! Have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. You've obtained a compass, which unlocks the area map view. Oh, she's moving! Area map can be accessed through the map button on the mini map. Oh, she doesn't import markers and lands in the facility. Ooh. Bucket! The old old computer is in the bin? 
Uh. Oh, hello. Bear on the lookout. On the lookout for bear themed trouble. Well, I got the computer and I delivered the letter. Really sealed the deal on that one. I don't have to read these out. Why am I reading these out? Go down to the thicket. Ooh, the wall is animated. That's nice. Oh no, mom isn't here doing the laundry. So you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby. This day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. Well, I can help you out. But you have to promise to be more careful next time, right? Here you go. Did she give me some money? Always something to do around the house. Anything tells you different is never look behind their fridge. Now, yes, where the nightmares live. Behind the freak. You're not doing this on purpose, but it's hard, hard not to, isn't it? Mom doesn't find your long absence fishy. Apparently not. Coffee. Wait, there was an interact. E. Oh, it's just the lamp. Well, that's a nice window. Very Flintstones. Book. Pile of book. Book on spelling. The most advanced basics. Love it. Alright, and I already have the pen. It's just in my uh, storage, so. Blarp, 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 blarp. Blarp, 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 blarp. I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear, I'm a bear. Do, 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 I'm a bear. Doing bear things. Barely. Bearing hard or hardly bearing. Bear, 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 bear. She'll have a whale of a time when he returns. God damn. This bear needs to learn how to swim. Oh, I could be I could upcycle that. Come on. Oh yeah, that's just saying it's a large rock. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the weed I want. Mama needs her some weed. I'm sure this area will probably unlock later. Out of weed until tomorrow, sadly. Crumb cake. <laughs> oh, let me get back my emotional support, Marge. Oh, you are the weed that I want. Oh, you are the one I want. Oh, 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 honey. I got it. I got that reference. Ollie, where'd you go? Back already, bird. You find Beanie? She called you a weasel. Barely legible bear sounds. Oh, you're the man, bird. Or bear. What did she say? Oh, she gave me this for you. 
got that reference. Oh, damn, that's that's pretty good. Oh, wow, oh, wow, bird! She found the rest of it. That's incredible, bird! The drawings of all this was, her most, was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus. Of course. Look, there's sawdust, high lake. This is where we are. Oh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's some place, places the bus couldn't even reach. I know it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while. Just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit in our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. <laughs> but new, stock new folks on to visit and all. I think you should have this and see where these old bus stops are. If you manage to fix these up. Uh, up like you did the old storage shed. I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Two bus signs! Yes! Atlas. First one's right next to the shed. How about it? Now I know I do have the inventory for that. Atlas unlocks the map world view. Ooh. Wonderful. Confirm! Unlocking more stuff. I need this pen. <sighs> you have to find everything. Took a while, but here you go. Everything I need. Yeah, this won't take long. Three chewed walls later. Just like new. Damn, he's really good at this. Info. A mountain. A wall. A kabloober. And importantly, a lamp. Oh, it does look good. money do we have? 130! Ah, someone has paid. Oh! No, it's money from mom. Which is nice of her. There we go. We have now finished off what was in there. Oh, I, should, I could have also made the room bigger. Oh well. Crafting! Oh no, I need more iron nails, which are definitely in that storage thing. It's irritating. Oh, talk to Took to inaugurate a kiosk. Take the gun and leave the cannoli. What does that even mean? I did. I fixed the bus stop. Approving bear noises! Brrr. Oh, that's great news, bud. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy. One of the few people that stuck around the valley. Two company at hand looked like a critter with a taste for stolen bologna. The strange pair lived in a peculiar harmony. Oh, I could smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. And boom! You'll drive there any time. I'll drive you there any time. All of us toolbox. Ooh, 
Hello Toolbox. So I can purchase bus signs and logger tools from here. Interesting. That'll help me unlock more buses. Routes. More routes for the buses. His precious buses. <laughs> Sounds grateful. Vegetarian Lyra is full of phony baloney. Jesus. Bus stations. Repair them. Cool, cool, cool. No, not what I was here for. That's right. Screws. I, I'm not reaching capacity yet. I don't really have a reason not to have all this. Unless there is like an upper limit of how much I can carry. But so far there isn't. I'm a bear. God, I love this animation. Simple or drobe. Oh, it's a bedroom item. Hmm. Let's see. So it's I don't have enough for the minimum requirement for a bedroom. That's okay. Let's just put this wardrobe in here for now. Since I cannot use it. Right, and talk to Took to inaugurate the kiosk. Mabla, the son of a Took. Is the kiosk ready? It is? It is ready. I never thought I'd say this. Loggeria! Excuse me. Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in a dumpster the other day. That is gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. <laughs> found that too! Anyway, <laughs> you're a good kid. <sighs> There's some weird puns going on in the chat today. You did good, kid. We more stuff for you to buy in the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. Is that literally a piece of cheese? All right, Hank, my boy. I've done all about I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. But there's quite a bit of work ahead of you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mail if you ever need me. Oh, and say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. Took's garbage. Ah, Took sleeps in the box. <laughs> Hank, where have you been? I've been sniffing all over. Well, I met Tony, and he taught me how to find some lumber, and then I made a bed for humans, and... Where did you find the alligator weed? Oh, no, we didn't find any of that. Just pine and plywood. Any minute now. Was you also to use some cotton? Hank. Yes. Mom! There it is. I completely forgot. Oh my gosh, we will have to go home. Unlocking shop contents. Complete uh, quests and prolonging to the story. It locks more items for sale in shops. 
Use blueprints. Uh, once learned, they disappear from the shop. Oh. I don't suppose Took's kiosk has a uh, alligator weed. Oh, earned 338 from guests. Wow. Holy balls, there's a lot of stuff in here. Every time you say took, my, I, my brain adds a Lundalana. Took a Lundalana? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Very rustic coffee table. Ooh. Possum clock! That's just spooky. That costs a hundred, Jesus. Rounded landscape painting, is it a urinal? Ah! God damn it, Took, you nudged me. Simple floor mirror. Wait, simple floor? Oh, it goes on the floor. Reference to a movie with a beetle in it. Fool of a Took. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Modest towel rack. Retro juice box for 150, Jesus. Abstract painting. Okay, so Took does not have the stuff I need. Took is also constantly biting himself. What a cute guy. Their standards are as uncompromising as they get. Congratulations! You met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being halfway decent service provider! Whoa, whoa, whoa. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you may be on your way to a minimum tax bracket. But enough talk about the bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next adventure with Pawn Voyage. Remember... Whenever you want to add a new premium property to your porn network, find your local porn shark and just press the green button. Welcome to the Porn Voyage Leadership Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations from this location. Also increasing payouts and bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now complete the following task. Complete the stay of another plus two guests in Timber Crossing. Reward! A cool new pair of pants. Would you like to accept this job? Sure. Task in progress. Alright, and I got some more uh, management requests. Extra money, extra stuff. Sweet. Tuk Zuk Zuk Lana, the caveman. I don't know any of this stuff. Let's build another bedroom, baby. Oh, no, no, no. Oh shoot, the bed's in my other place. Uh, but I can build a slightly better bed. Just cost sixty. Sweet. Go 
over here. Get back the beds for the things from the junk. Except you. Bear stash, bear stash, bear stash, bear stash. There we go, now we have two little bedrooms and two master bedrooms. There we go! More bedrooms and stuff. Hooray! These bedrooms don't have windows. Like, literally no natural lighting. Uh, it's probably not a good idea. Well, that one in the end is the dark room, then. Details. Four bedrooms. Wonderful. Guest requests. Tegan Park, Paula Schultz, Gillian Duncan, Margot Hamilton, Deborah McLeod, MacLeod, Wallace Zachary, Finn Ebert, Vishal Lonison. Okay. So currently my decora decoration level is 33, which is fantastic. And comfort level is... 3, 4, 4. Is that per room? Oh! Per room. 5, 5, 7, 8. Five, five, seven, eight. My boots scooting, baby. A higher decoration than average during their stay. Oh, interesting. So Julian Duncan might be a fancy pants. They require eight. One of these, one of the master bedrooms has nine. That'll work. Okay, so Julian Duncan. Let's assign her to the master bedroom. Haven't seen whatever people are talking about since the 90s. Paula Schultz, we have one with two. You can go there. Oh, Nathan really liked his stay. Lovely. So we have a 7 8 and a 5 3. Oh, seven, eight, that'll work. Yeah. And a five, three, Deborah or Elisha will work fine. So let's go there. Brilliant. And I'm almost at prestige level three. Yes. I am good bear. I do good bear things. 
No new recipes yet. I have not discovered a new recipe. So go back to Mom. I complete the stay for another two more guests. Fast travel added. Just me, your local Wood Samaritan. Oh, it's this way to the thicket. So I was feeling a little uncomfortable today because um, T-Door, Transition Day of Remembrance, is coming up on Monday. And I think very intentionally, some fucking bitch uh, transfer Posey Parker uh, is doing a anti-trans rally on Saturday I really hope that doesn't affect me going to work heck where have you been like heck where have you been my goodness gracious you all right did something happen okay mom nothing happened all right good what was that thick head of yours and you I didn't even say anything you put out this again, didn't you? No, Mom, we didn't do anything. You haven't even gone that long. It's been days. Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit, and they'll bring money and trash, and we get to learn all about them, and. And I get to make stuff for them. Me! Tony taught me how to build a bed, and... I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there was nothing I could do to keep a... Keep you around, anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just... Feels nice to do something out here for a change. Makes me helpful. Yeah, very much some folks have nothing better to do with their fucking lives. I know it does, dear. For now, at least. You are probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we haven't slept in several days. Yeah, we gotta go check on our humans. Trucker cap! Don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. Now get some rest. Ah, oh, so small, little burp. Oh no, it's a little mouse! Anton. Oh, don't get up from me. I can see just fine from here. What? Let's just say you made the right impressions to the right people, pal. Oh, the big cheese. That's not true. I didn't know such a thing. Uh, relax, it's a good thing. It is? The oversized rat did say the size doesn't scale everywhere. Listen, you made quite an impact on my trash-talking associate, which is rare. In case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, Come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll, I'll, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want, I don't care. I don't care! New routes unlocked towards the A24. That was weird. Hank has a guitar? Or a cello? It's hard to tell. He's a large creature. Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. 
no one bothering about not flying. I'm literally walking here. I'm walking here. We'll stay up all night watching movies again. Let's think about a dog named Marley. I know, I fell half asleep halfway through. Cute. 824. Wait, two more stays. Go south and across again. Enter the 824. Okay, cool. Mother! Hat! Oh, I'm a bear in a hat. I'm a bear in a hat, girl. I'm a bear in a hat. Ooh, bear in a hat. Cause I'm wise enough to know when a bear needs hatting. And I got just the one. Bear in a hat, gonna hat a bear. So if a second to none, bear in a hat now. Black Moss. Still wish I could travel around here. Maybe if I go to the A24 and I go southbound, I'll be able to get another angle from it. I'm going to have to stop soon at 5 because I've got to make dinner. Meeting Barbara. Huh? Who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. Oh. That's alright, you're the first critter I made around these parts. Don't be afraid. I'm just an old lady. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Apologetic bear noises. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been a keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Hey, what you want to do with Jeffrey is your own business. Do you know where you are? What's a blue shag? Bear noises? Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here, I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs this size of the valley. I know, I own the Airbnb here. A bear B and B, or well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Although, lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. And then I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we've got. Do you have a hand in that? I built it with my own two paws. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hopefully I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Anyway, goodbye now. Are you ever going to, are you going to be able to build a bear BQ? I would hope so. I want to take advantage of this lovely weather. Oh, okay, we got some humans. Oh, okay. Just cleaning up and doing my, you know, doing my duties, my bare minimums. This isn't where I need to be. I need to. I need to go to the freaking thing. No! 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 Unseemly. Bedroom 3 needs more decoration. Rawr, bear, 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 bear. Bear, Need some small... <laughs> Thank you. Need some small decoration. Small nightstand. 
little shelf. Scented sticks. Potted plant. A plant. Okay, so which bedroom's which? This is bedroom three. The one with the window? Alright. The room is not decorated enough. A totally normal thing for a normal human to say. My room, undecorated. Hideous. Shame. Oh, that goes straight on the floor. There we go. Hopefully that's a bit more decorated for you. Choosy human. Tip top, tip top, tip top, tip top. Wonderful. And I also see some junk. Oh no! There's a table in the way! Hide! They saw me anyway. Sorry! Damn it all! I just wanted to pick up the garbage! Ugh. Humans, eh? Bunch of weirdos. I look forward to building a barbecue. Oh, that. Weird. Weird acquired. Is this a game made by the same people who did Don't Starve? I'm aware of Don't Starve. Give me a sec. Bear and breakfast video game. It's also available on Steam. It's by Gummy Cat. This is the only game under Gummy Cat. It's published by Armour Games, who also did Deep Sleep Trilogy, Elephant Collection, Crush the Castle, Don't Escape. So, no, is the, is the answer there, unfortunately. Ah, okay, she's using a similar art style. Yeah. Less spooky, though. Don't Starve is made by Clay Entertainment. K-L-E-I. They also did... Beastie Ball. Mind Over Magic. Oxygen Not Included. I have heard of that one. Griftlands, which Gwen's tried playing and she could not get around the mechanics of. And Hot Lava. Oh, and Mark of the Ninja Remastered. Mark of the Ninja's fucking great. Oh, an invisible ink. Okay, these are... These are... No, this is unrelated, I think. New releases. Oh, no, they have 11 games under their belts. Maybe as publishers. Shank, Shank 2, Eats Munchies, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and Le Famous. Invisible ink is great. Right, so some of these are published by them. Mark of the Ninja. Oh, come on, Steam. You know my birthday by now. Mark of the Ninja. Yeah, developed and published by Cly Entertainment. Some of these are just published. Uh... 
But yeah, it looks like they've done a whole bunch of cool stuff. Shank! Also developed by and published by them, which is awesome. I love Invisible Ink. Honestly, my main gripe with that game is that it ends very suddenly and I wanted more of it. It was freaking great. And uh, their latest one, Cly, developed his Driftlands. Yeah! They seem to do good work. Good for them! They're not the people who made Bear and Breakfast, but we also like them, so that's talking about them. Rocks! Rubble! And stones and stuff. Pro save my progress, quit a menu, do 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 do. Ah, oh, look at Hank, he's all sleepy. Alright, everyone. Oh. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I had a, a very fun time playing this new game. I'm going to enjoy playing it on my own as well, I'm sure. <laughs> True, but this game seems really charging. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Mark of the Ninja's a great stealth side-scroller. Incredibly well-done mechanics. Love it. Might pick it up. Bear and Breakfast. I think it's currently on sale on Steam, and that's part of why I picked it up. I like making a wish list of silly games that I think would be nice to do on stream, and then I, you know, pick them up when they're on the, pick them up when they're available. Wish list. See if it's still on there. I can tell you how much it is. <sighs> oh, sleepy now, sleepy now. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is on half off. Oh, I wish my PC could run that. It's a soulless like from From Software that's very uh, Japanese in origin. It looks fucking great. Bear and Breakfast is currently reduced down to £10.88. Woo. That's 35% off. <gasps> they do a plush! Hank plush by Makeship. Oh. It's a crime that I can't play Baldur's Gate. Absolutely it fucking is. I need, to get, I need to get a PC upgrade. It's very true. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta, I gotta show you, I gotta show you this. I gotta. Uh, no, not a local file. Cancel. I need a, a window capture. No, not that. Go away. Window capture, thank you. Look! They make a Hank plushie! This little fluffy chin. Ah! Wait a minute. Estimated to ship October twenty fifth. I think I've missed this one. Look at him now. It's very cute. Good for them. Oh yeah, let's not click off that and then immediately show something on Twitch that I, for people who see what tab I've got open there, maybe I should, maybe I should close that window before I accidentally close this tab and show everyone what's in this tab. Oh, ho, 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 ho. crisis averted. Okay. Well, I had a wonderful time playing a stuff with y'all today. Uh, I was going to say, uh, what? this beauty was drawn by CB, I got it from Thought Bubble, CB's the, uh, C Bedford is the cool person who's working on that game, Sorry We're Closed, which I really enjoyed, people have Steam, Steam wishlist, I would recommend, because it's really good, the hour-long demo is really good, and they're a wonderful person, the great artist. 
I need to put this on my wall. It's beautiful. Anyway, I have to raid someone now so that I can go downstairs and make some denier. So let's open up my various tabs. I think... Okay, so I normally... Hmm. What's Deep Blue Ink up to? He's currently an advert. <laughs> That's not useful. Uh, this means that my... Right, because I had to get my uh, bank card replaced, I think this means that my uh, Twitch Prime or Twitch Turbo or whatever the frig it's called has expired because now I'm watching an advert when I'm trying to see who I want to raid, which is incredibly counterproductive. Alright, Deep Blue Ink is doing some art. No, no, he's post-stream actually, so let's not do that. Uh, let's instead go to Desert Bus for Hope! Y'all, I've streamed it, I've raided them once before, but I don't get to do this very often. It's that time of year. But you get to watch a bunch of super fun Canadian comedians do dumb shit to raise money for charity. Wow, there's just one guy at the moment. Oh, they made a fort out of the sofa. That's where they are. Cool. I'd say our radar call should probably just be, what the bus? And uh, yeah, we'll go do that. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Uh, can't find my own face. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will go go make some pesto now. Goodbye. Mwah.